Well, welcome back to a new video, guys and gals. It's always a pleasure to have you join me on the riverbank via YouTube. So what are we doing today? Well, the river behind me has leveled off. It was over prior, it was over the banks, and we've got more heavy rain forecast, uh, I think five or six o'clock this evening. So yeah, plenty of rain at the moment in the UK. Um, unfortunately, along with it, plenty of sewage going in from the uh, water company so it's not good is it not good at all everyone we all wanted some extra rainfall during our <laughs> summertime but what we don't need is a load of sewage going in which is unfortunately two regular currents on our waterways in england anyway so what are we doing on this particular trip well got with me a little shimano sienna 500 reel midi liquid carbon quiver tip rod set up with a double swan shot link leisure i may take one of those off because i might be able to get away with just a single shot simple low resistance link leisure bait wise with me i've got maggots worms cheese paste good old reliable bread and a nice mixture of liquidized bread there that's just been dampened down enough so if i want to switch to a small cage feeder i can still use it in a cage feeder but it's just dampened down nicely so that um, sinks quite well given that the river is up and it is pushing so it needs to have a bit of weight to it so that's the sum of it that has been laced with a little bit of garlic aid so it's got a very pungent aroma it blow your nostrils off if we had smell of vision and that's the, that's going to be the um, sum of it I'm going to fish some swims where I'm going to drop some bait in and, ro and then fish a few of those swims that I put bait into and other spots where as you know from my other videos where I'll just drop in with a single hook bait see if I can nab a quick fish anyway let's get started let's get the landing net and rod set up and um, hopefully there's a chevin or two about on this particular fishing trip I will be fishing a bit into the evening time and uh, yeah hopefully we won't get drowned by a ton of rain <laughs> and what you'll notice here as well I'm actually um got a nice waterproof bib and it's lovely and also on top of that it actually fits well that's a combination of me losing weight but also because this particular manufacturer for any of you big guys out there might be interested that's a road deal road deal they sell slightly larger sized bibs and braces which are commonly used by people on farms utility type um, maintenance work etc but they work perfect for us fishermen as well um, yeah so this is the first trip out wearing this be nice not to have a wet bum for a change and soaked trousers so yeah anyway I'm waffling let's get fishing
No ring goes. It's got a bit flowy though. Yeah. Got the nice bend in the rod. <laughs> Brilliant. It's fishing towards the other slack. Like a real battle torn Chevy Moria. Looks like a nice fish as well. Happy days. Well, there we go, guys. What a cracking looking brassy Chevy. Well, I did think it was battle torn, but it's in lovely condition actually. Just taking on the opposite bank slack. Yeah, wonderful. Beautifully stocky fish, good scrap in that current as well. Real, real hard and frisky fighting. Yeah, wonderful.
was getting tetchy bites. I knew there was one down here. Just knew it. What a lovely little run. Gotta be careful he doesn't try and get me in the flooded margin. Yeah, he's going there. Lovely. Lovely chubbly. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, hard fighting, stoutly built Chevy. I was getting some tetchy bites on the bread, so I decided to chop and change the sizes, see if it would be greedy enough. And uh, sure enough, it couldn't resist a bigger, fluttering piece of bread flake. Lovely scrap, as you saw. An old midi liquid carbon rod bent double as this fish tried to plow me into the near margin flooded snags. Yeah, lovely. Let's pull myself back a bit. Let's give you a bit better, better proportion. And yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? Let's get this one slipped back, have another cast in this swim, uh, release this one a bit upstream, and um, then maybe mosey on further downstream. <laughs> Cracking.
Yep. Talk about nearly doing me in the near margin snag, or should I say near margin foliage. That's a nice job. Well, what a brassy Chevin. That was a frisky hard old scrap and it did put me in my own margin, as only a Chevin can. It's a beautiful looking fish. Brassy. Lovely, perfect paddle to it. Just draw myself back. It's been a good trip guys on a flooded little river and it's burst its banks downstream. Well, I'm going to head further downstream. Probably switch to cheese paste in a bit, but the last two fish have been on bread flake. Can't beat, can't beat this. Such enjoyment, absolutely joyous. Let's get it slipped back. Young Chev. Little dinker. <laughs> this one's got some predation marks either side, and it looks like it could have been grabbed by a pike actually. It was a cheeky tetchy bite as well. But yeah. Love them all, large or small. Well, alas, we've reached the end of another fishing trip. Have tried three other swims into darkness and the river has now risen quite a bit it's a bit like the battle of the somme here to be honest um yeah getting back to the car is going to be a case of sticking seeing how far your foot is going to stick into the ground into the mud i've got a wet boot should have brought chest waders really but they are cumbersome as much as they're useful i do loathe having to put a pair of chesties on 
anyway um, yeah it's been enjoyable though uh, I do think if the river was a bit low because it has pushed up more if it was a bit low I would have fancied my chances into dark on the cheese paste but as I say it's pushing through a bit no takers on the cheese paste but it's been a very 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 rewarding trip I mean certainly four Chevin three really nice ones one whipper snapper certainly nothing you'd um, sniff at especially on a flooded and uh, <laughs> rather swollen little waterway but yeah they're in lovely lovely condition lovely brassy goldy ingots uh, three of the four were taken on bread flake and one on lobworm that's why I always try to carry a mixture of a few baits with me when I'm chub fishing I always take worms I always take cheese paste I always take bread and I always take maggots it's that old saying there's more than one way to skin a cat as such although I don't like that saying being a cat lover <laughs> but you know what I mean guys there's more than one way to approach a scenario and it's always good to have different baits in your armory anyway as I said earlier in the video it's always a pleasure bringing you guys a video um, hope you've enjoyed this one it's certainly nice to get amongst a few fish that's um, for sure but I have got to be heading off so wherever you're fishing wherever you're wetting a line wherever you're dangling your end tackle I hope you're having some really enjoyable trips and I hope you're being well and truly rewarded till my next video thanks again for watching take care goodbye <laughs>